one. Six years ago, my husband and I bought a 67 acre parcel of land just north of Swift Current. Most people thought we were crazy for buying a pasture with only a power box and something that kind of resembled a road. But as I stood on top of this hill where our house now sits, I didn't see just a pasture. I saw the opportunity to use one of the last remaining pieces of native prairie to take education and ecological awareness to a new level. My name is Kristen Simonson, and I have been in public education for 22 years, teaching biology, chemistry, outdoor education, and environmental science. Uh, I am no stranger to the roadblocks that exist to provide land-based and experiential learning to students in the public education system. I wish all senior administrators could see the type of magic that happens when young people are reconnected to the land. This is where a fundamental understanding of how the connections between water, soil, and atmosphere create our unique and disappearing mixed prairie ecosystem. <clears throat> The Sage Creek Prairie School was founded to provide a bridge between the theoretical knowledge that young people were learning inside of classrooms with the experiential knowledge of seeing these concepts in action out on the land. Instead of a research project on how watersheds channel and filter water, high school students were now out in the watershed documenting the health of riparian areas and identifying native and invasive species along our creek. Sage Creek didn't stop there. We became certified four school practitioners and began offering four school programming for preschool and elementary age children so that they too could play and learn in a native prairie setting. Uh, starting a new program in the midst of a pandemic was a challenge, as many of you know. Uh, but in 2021, we offered a series of programs catering to children ages three to 18. Our forest school and kids in the Cooley programs targeted preschool and elementary age children and allowed them to experience the prairie through exploration, creativity, and scaffolded risky play. Our bushcraft sessions were designed for our older children and involved opportunities to forage for wild edibles and useful plants, construct shelters, and read various nature signs, as well as using a variety of tools such as knives and axes. All of our children are involved in all aspects of our food forest, including permaculture, vermicomposting, beekeeping, <clears throat> and food security. It's constantly amazing to me how quickly all of our kids have begun paying more attention to the weather, the sounds of our resident great horned owl, to the seasons, the shapes and taste of Saskatoon berries, and the impact their actions have within a wild space. In just over a year, we have children who have now a sense of ownership and responsibility to protect their classroom and play space. And these children will become the adults that will choose how they, were, how they will continue to influence their world. I can't help but think that if all children were to have this type of opportunity, that the shift towards a more sustainable future would be guaranteed. Uh, thank you so much for this award. And congratulations to all the other recipients. Thank you.